Good evening, this is Brian with Forex Fortunes Club. Had a request from a subscriber that wanted to find out how to backtest manual uh, trading strategies within MetaTrader 4. Um, there are some separate standalone applications, but uh, one of the uh, simple uh, programs that I've used to test manual strategies is called the Simple Forex Tester. Now if you go into the strategy tester of your current MT4 trading platform, you're mostly going to be trading or backtesting strategies for any expert advisors that that you you know would like to trade automatically on your behalf. But there's only one program that I know of that lets you actually um, do manual testing strategies with. So um, what's called is a simple forex tester. Now that is an expert advisor that opens up a GUI platform that allows you to open and close trades. So we'll just go ahead and, and start this up to kind of show you how, how this works. So, um, so obviously you're going to pick your currency pair, you're going to pick your time frame, and we'll just do some back testing here of the last two market days just to give you a representation of how this uh, simple forex tester works. Um, you want to make sure the optimization is off, and uh, we'll just hit the start. What's going to happen is you'll be a new chart will come up, and you'll get prompted here for the program to start up. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to open an interface that allows you to trade manually within the backtesting portion of MetaTrader. So as you can see, um, brings up uh, option to place new orders. Now what we need to do is make sure we're at the beginning of, of the chart. Just so you ha you're on the far right of the screen. I've got some other programs going here tonight that are kind of slowing me down, but um, Let's just let this try to catch up with us here. All right, so as you can see, the chart is updating here. And well, actually, I think it took that long to uh, collect some of the back time frames on this, but we can. Clear up the charts, hitting uh, take the grid off, control G, gets rid of the charts. We can put some, uh, you know, make this a candlestick chart. We can add different indicators that you might want to use to do some different trading strategies. Um, we'll just go ahead and temporarily hit the pause button so we can maybe add. Um, any basic things that you could do in a live chart you can can do with with this so you can draw trend lines you can um, do you know uh, Fibonacci retracement levels um, you know pretty much anything that that you can do on a live chart you can do with this indicator here so um, we'll bring up the trading interface now if if you wanted to place a pending order, you can, um, you know, place a new order. It would give you the volume that you want to trade at, and you could set it up. Obviously, here is a pending order. Uh, what we'll do is an instant execution. Let's just say that it looks somewhat oversold or overbought. So we're just going to hit the sell button. It's going to tell you trade is successful, and then we can minimize that trade trade uh, prompting there. So we're just going to hit play. As you can see, the sell order was opened and it's going to, you know, um, continue on forward into the test. Uh, you can speed this up a little bit as far as, you know, the, the back testing speed. So let's go ahead and crank this up a little bit. So you can see that it's 
bringing the data to your desktop and is showing you the live profits and losses as as you continue to go here so just let this run a little bit see kind of where this trade ends up as you can see we have the current open order and let's just say for instance you would want to close this order obviously you're just gonna hit the got other things going on in my live trading platform here all right let's just hit maybe we'll get a little better fill price here As you can see, it keeps updating. If, if Let's just go ahead and close this order right now. And we will hit play. So you can see the order close. So if you look at the closed orders, it looks like we have a profit of $1.75. So this uh, just continues on. If, um, if you're looking to place another order, let's say at uh, you think it, it's looking to break down below below this trend line you can you know place pending orders but uh, let's just go ahead and, and place another sell order we're going to place a new order you can change the volume you could put a stop loss and take profit here let's just go ahead and hit the sell looks that it was successful with that lot size so then again we just minimize this And you can obviously continue this process as, as long as you want. You can you know, add more indicators. You can, um, you know, change. Right now we have this order is open. If, if you click on it, you can modify the order in real time. So you can add your stop loss and take profit just as, as you could in a live trading platform. So let's just go ahead and let's just say we want to close this order. So as you can see, that order closed. Now we've got two closed trades for uh, $2.50 profit. So as you can see, it's fairly quick on, on how you can backtest any kind of um, trading strategies that, you, that you're looking to, to trade. So um, that's kind of it, just to show you how to open and close some trades in the simple Forex tester. So, uh, click the link below if you need more information on uh, acquiring the Simple Forex Tester. And uh, just uh, please comment and uh, like our videos if, if you find any value in, in what we're doing. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much.